We were looking for a blood test to detect pancreatic cancer based on the levels of specific molecules in the blood. So where the levels, if they're high, we would be able to detect pancreatic cancer versus some other benign condition of the pancreas. The previous test, best test so far, was developed over 40 years ago. It's not year used for screening because it doesn't detect enough pancreatic cancers. With a less than 5% false positive rate, it only gets less than half of the pancreatic cancers. We have found a molecule that's elevated in many of those patients that are low, so that by bringing the two together, we can detect almost 70% of the pancreatic cancer patients with a less than 5% false positive rate. We've proven this now in blinded studies, and we think we're performing well enough that we could begin screening for the disease amongst people at a higher risk for developing pancreatic cancer. A blood test is particularly valuable for pancreatic cancer because the symptoms are not visually evident like they are with some other cancers. A biopsy is difficult and potentially dangerous. Imaging is expensive, it's burdensome. A blood test is something that could be broadly applied and not very expensive. This test initially would be applied to people at a higher risk for developing pancreatic cancer. Such individuals would be those with a family history of the disease, a new onset diabetes, obesity, uh, a history of cysts or pancreatitis in the pancreas. They would be at a higher risk and so we would want to screen or monitor these patients to see if they are developing an incipient pancreatic cancer, if we can detect it early, they have a much better chance of having a good outcome. The reason we would screen people with new onset diabetes is the new onset diabetes may be the result of very early stage pancreatic cancer, so they are at a higher risk for having a very early stage pancreatic cancer. If a person has had long-standing diabetes, they're not as at higher risk for having early stage pancreatic cancer. The reason we want to monitor for the early stage is because if the cancer can be detected at an early stage before it has spread throughout the organ or uh, disseminated other sites, the outcomes for those patients are much better. So our goal is to make this available to patients and doctors. The next step in doing that is to get the assay established in a clinical laboratory that would be able to receive samples and, and run the test and give results back. We will initially get this available for our clinical partners on a research level and if we continue to see performance like we already have seen in our retrospective studies, we'll offer it more broadly. We anticipate a relatively low cost test that could have a high impact in detecting and diagnosing cancer, pancreatic cancer.